Hey everybody, this is Paul from Holster Pro Gun Leather. I just want to show you one of my uh, models I've been making for quite a while. I just added a new gun to the list. This is the Walther 2K380. It's been around for a while, growing in popularity, so I figured I'd better get one. Um, you can find this holster for this and many other guns on holsterpro.com. C O M. Uh, just to let you know, this is a standard belt slide holster. It's got two slots that fit belts uh, up to one and three quarter inch. Most of the belts you buy from the store are standard one and three quarter inch. Some of them are one and a half inch, but that will fit this as well. As you can see, with the fit here, I make every one of my holsters to fit every gun perfectly. You know, some makers will make holsters that fit uh, five or six or eight different guns. I don't like it. I like them to fit in there perfectly. I wet mold them. I use a very high quality English bridle leather. Uh, it's about one and one. Or I'm sorry, it's about one eighth of an inch thick on the single side, and then when I double the uh, edges together and the seams there, it becomes about one quarter of an inch thick. Um, what I have on this holster, what I like about it, if you wear this gun all day in a holster that allows the back side of it to be touching your body, this can press up against you. So I uh, created this one to have that high flap there, and this is what touches you all day and doesn't really irritate your skin or bother you. Uh, very comfortable holster. I wear this all the time. I'm going to show you right now. I have my uh, the Glock 39 wearing them. It's really not a um, conceal holster until you put something over it. Nice hooded sweatshirt. We can see I got all dirty from working here today. Um, simply, you know, it's like this. We can show it to you. Uh, here's where it fits on my belt. Those are those one and three quarter inch slots I talked to you about. And uh, the gun fits in there perfectly. This is Glock 39. I know the Glock 27 is in. Extremely popular of late, and I can make this holster for that gun. Just check it out on my site as well. Um, back to this one again. Like I started saying before, I use very high quality leather. If you take care of these things, these holsters will last you forever. I have many of uh, my own holsters that I've been carrying for years that I, I still carry the first holster I ever made in uh, 1997. Still works very well. If you take care of them, they will work. Um, just put some shoe polish on them once in a while, keep them nice and shiny, keep them dry. Uh, I wet mold them when I make these. This is dipped in boiling water and make it very, um, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, very soft and amiable so I can push all the detail into it. Uh, after it's been done, you can get them wet just a little bit. I wear a lot of holes when I'm hunting and uh, they've gotten wet and it's okay. I even tested one out, um, dropped the holster in a bucket of water and left it there for a couple of days. Took it out and after it dried, fit the gun just as well. I wouldn't recommend doing that, and I would also not recommend putting your six, seven, eight hundred dollar investment into a wet piece of leather. Keep them dry, keep them shined up. Any questions, give me an email, holsterpro 357 at yahoo.com. Check me out on my site, holsterpro.com. Uh, my phone number is on there. And just to remind everybody, these are made in the USA. I don't need to do anything, no outsourcing, no out of the country, anything. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to make a product in the USA and selling uh, to a lot of honest, hardworking people. So check me out, holsterpro.com.